Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is a problem from chapter number 2, IC engine testing and pollution control. A petrol engine uses 0.272 kg of fuel per kilowatt of brake power per hour. So this is given as BSFC because BSFC unit is kg per BP per hour with calorific value that is C or CV is given as 43,961 kg per kg. The mechanical efficiency is given as 80% that is 0.8 and compression ratio that is small r is given as 5.6. It is told to calculate brake, power, brake thermal efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency, air standard efficiency and it is given take value of adiabatic index as 1.4 for air that is gamma is equal to 1.4. So this is the information which is given BSFC is equal to 0.272 kg per BP per hour. CV is given as 43,961 kg per kg. Mechanical efficiency is given as 0.8 that is 80% is given. Small r that is compression ratio is given as 5.6. Here the brake power is not given but in the problem it is given the Petrol engine uses 0.272 kg of fuel per kg of brake power per kilowatt of brake power per hour. So what we will do, we will take BP is equal to 1 kilowatt and gamma that is adiabatic index is given as 1.4. So brake thermal efficiency formula is brake thermal efficiency equal to BP into 3600 upon MF into CV. Here BSFC is known and we know the formula BSFC is equal to MF upon BP. Here we know BSFC we have put the value of BSFC and BP we have taken as 1 therefore MF value will be 0.272 kg per hour. So now we know MF, so for brake thermal efficiency, BP we have taken as 1, MF we have calculated now and CV is given in the formula or in the problem. So brake thermal efficiency is equal to 1 that is brake power into 3600 upon MF that is 0.272 how we have calculated over here into CV that is 43,961 so we got 0.301 that is equal to 30.1 percent now we will calculate indicated thermal efficiency indicated thermal efficiency first we know that mechanical efficiency is equal to BP upon IP so from here we can calculate IP IP is equal to 1 upon 0.8 so we got IP is equal to 1.25 kilowatt why we have calculated IP because indicated thermal efficiency requires IP because the formula is IP into 3600 upon MF into CV. So we know IP as we have calculated from the BP and the mechanical efficiency that was given and we know MF because we have calculated MF from BSFC which was given and CV is given in the problem. So Indicated thermal efficiency is equal to 1.25 into 3600 upon 0 0.272 into 43961. So we got indicated thermal efficiency as 0 0.3763 which is equal to 37.63%. Now we need to calculate air standard efficiency. The formula for air standard efficiency equal to 1 minus 1 upon compression ratio that is small r raised to gamma minus 1 for petrol engine working on auto cycle here it is given it is a petrol engine so 1 minus 1 upon 5.6 because r that is compression ratio is given as 5.6 adiabatic index is given as 1.4 so 1.4 minus 1 so we got air standard efficiency equal to 0.4979 that is equal to 49.79 percentage so this is how we calculated brake thermal efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency and air standard efficiency. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.